Today, Hina Sidhu, an Arjuna awardee, a two-time Olympian, and she recently won a gold medal at the Commonwealth Shooting Championships. She has spoken out against the anti-anthem brigade, saying that you cannot say that singing the national anthem has to be optional because it has to be compulsory. She even said by her own experience that when you win a medal, stand on the podium, the feeling would be incomplete without the national anthem playing in the backdrop. We spoke to Hina Sidhu earlier today. Let's listen in to an excerpt of that interview. Hina, our first question. Tell us about your tweet and what really prompted you to intervene in this debate. This is a debate that has been going on for several months. There have been attacks from the opposition saying that you cannot force someone to sing the national anthem and patriotism cannot be worn on one sleeve. Um, actually, in the morning, I was having my breakfast and uh, the TV was on. Um, there was this news running about uh, two uh, um, boys who were sitting and taking selfies and making a video while the national anthem was playing. And it was like blatant disrespect. Not standing is another thing, but taking this opportunity to actually show your disrespect when everybody else is standing, that's another another level only. So that is what really prompted me. I know this mm. has been going on for a few days. I never actually voiced my opinion uh, over it. Uh, what I really believe in is, mm. first of all, national anthem shouldn't be played uh, in a place where people have come to be entertained. You know, the context is not right. You cannot uh, expect mm. uh, uh, for mm. people to get out of their cars and stand up if you're playing national anthem uh, by the roadside. So, the first of all, mm. the context has to be right. Mm. Uh, there has to be a place. The dignity of the national anthem mm. has to be maintained. But once you are playing it, you've already gone ahead mm. and you're playing it, how can you make it optional that uh, standing mm. up is optional? Because mm. as an athlete... Um, as an athlete, all of mm. us stand up for national anthem of every country and we stand up in the same way as we would stand for national anthem of India. So for me, it was very, uh, it was mm. sort of like from a different world that even if these two boys think that they are not right. Indians, standing up for national anthem for, for say yeah. some, some, uh, some other country also is like a very basic thing. I would stand up for national anthem of Pakistan, yeah, yeah. And Bangladesh, the incident that you're talking Lanka, about happened USA, in Rajori, every, where an FIR was registered anthem. against those two individuals who didn't stand up for the national anthem. I, I can understand your sentiments and where you're going with this, Hina. But as a sports person, as an Olympian, when you participate in a tournament and the national anthem plays, what does it mean to you? What is that feeling like? That feeling is, uh, of course, it's out of the world because somewhere uh, I feel that very few people have this privilege. I always say that it's only the sports persons and, uh, um, and the armed forces that have the power to, to have national anthem playing in, in, in a foreign land. So this is only because of our effort mm. that uh, we see our national flag uh, flying high and the national anthem is played just because we won. And this is a pride. ये परिवार ये पार्टी मौका नहीं छोड़ती उनको खत्म करने मोदी जी हेलीकॉप्टर में नीचे से सुनामी आजकल गुजरात की सरकार रिमोट कंट्रोल से चलती है 